Okay. Is there a way to describe what it's like from a caregiver perspective to have to deal with that kind of situation? Like if there's a caregiver watching this video who's thinking, okay, my loved one has just been diagnosed with FTD and they're wondering, no, but really Jackie, what is it like? Is there a way to describe what it's like to have to take on that role? No, it's not something that life will ever prepare you for. And I cannot stress that enough. I wouldn't wish this upon my worst enemy. And that said, I just want to emphasize that I'm also not the primary caregiver. My father is because he's with her every single day. I help whenever I'm available and mm -hmm. whenever I can. Um, nothing in life can prepare you for this, okay. uh, especially at my age. You know, I'm 31 years old. I still have hopefully a lot of life ahead of me. Right. Um, and caring for your parents at this age, it's a little bit too soon. You know, I would expect it if my parents were much older and yeah. they're not. So while there are things in my life coming up that I would very much love to have my mom for, I don't. Right. And it's very hard to wrap your head around that. So no, nothing can prepare you for this. And actually, let me ask you a follow-up question to that. So you emphasize that you're not the primary caregiver and you see this on dementia support groups a lot, sort of like um, a lot of people actually kind of post sort of guiltily like, hey, look, everyone, I want to make it clear I'm, I'm not the primary caregiver as if that is, I mean, it is less stressful than being the primary, but still like in my experience, all the feelings are still the same. Yeah. It's still very difficult to be the, the family member of yeah. someone who's, yeah. I think that we need to take a minute to recognize our feelings about it and that it's okay to have all of the feelings associated with a loved one being diagnosed with this terminal illness. It's okay to be angry, sad, hurt, frustrated, you know, hating the world. Yeah. Um, and for the primary caregivers too, they see it more than we do. Yeah. They are affected by it on a more day-to-day -day basis than we are. Right. It still hurts no matter which way you cut it, whether it's every single day that you see my mom or if it's every month, every week, whatever it may be. Right. It doesn't hurt any less. Absolutely.